Hello everybody, my name is Kevin, and uh, today we are going to review the LEGO Quidditch, uh, Quidditch match or something. So yeah, so, uh, there are these final two sets that, uh, that I need now. And that is the Quidditch and the Newt Scamander's suitcase. Sorry about that. Did you just hear it? Everything quiet. Now anyway, so I, I actually got both of these, and it was, uh, I'll, I won't mention when, but yeah, so, uh, here they are. Here are all of this. This is the Quidditch match. So yeah, this is Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. So yeah, I'd like to thank Brandon Brown for delivering these to me. And, uh, yeah, so... Now I'm going to be uh, building this, and uh, we'll see what I think. Also, I'd like to point out this Draco is uh, also Quidditch as well, the minifigure series. But yeah, so this is based on the first movie, not the second. If it was based on the second, we would have gotten Draco. But yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this build right now. Hello everybody, it's me Kevin, and sorry if the video is still playing over there because my brother won't is too lazy to to exit so or pause at least. So yeah, I really like this set, but there are a few issues, which is I don't have most of the pieces, which stinks. I had to use some of my old pieces. Now some were doable, like the hair and some pieces for this feature. But some other pieces, like the shooting gun thing, I may have to borrow one from my brother or ask. Yeah, you can use that one. Okay, I'll use one of the shooting gun things. But uh, but uh, some other pieces, like uh, like flick fire thing, you know, I'll I'll explain later. But overall, with all the set I have, I really like it. Thankfully, I was able to complete it. And anyway. Let's start off with Harry Potter. Same old Harry Potter, you know. The hair, the face, the scared face. You know, it's nothing different. You have the snitch, which is pretty sweet. Let me see that snitch. It's the snitch. Let me see that snitch. It's the snitch. Shana, use that sea side up now, Z. Oh, oh, hi. Get out of here before you offend my viewers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Molly, stop him. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, I next said year. I'm sorry. Next year. Uh, next year. Where's the zit? No. Next figure oh, is Oliver Wood. Oh my so gosh. Is that Oliver Wood? Nope. Anyway, me? here's Oliver Wood, and uh, I, I like him. He doesn't seem that bad. This is his face, and I like the Gryffindor and Slytherin robes. They're pretty cool. I wish they made, like, Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff robes, but we never see them in the movies, so... Yeah, sadly. But I really like Oliver Wood, actually. Like, you know, the brooms, you know, you can play with them any way you want. But, yeah, apparently in the books, Oliver Wood was, like, was too into, uh... Quidditch too much that he was a bit like a, a control freak kind of and trying to get his team to play pretty well against Slytherin which I guess I can't blame him it's, you know who doesn't want to win against Slytherin they're pretty they're pretty much mean yeah but now let's go to the next uh, Gryffindor and that's Hermione now the set didn't also include Hermione and Snape so I had to so I had to uh get these two characters from the uh, the Whomping Willow set. Yeah, so uh, this is Hermione. This is the same old Hermione in all the sets. So it's a uh, happy face and scared face with her wand. Oh, shoot. That's my fault. Why is she even in the set? She doesn't even play 
Actually, yeah, but you'll, you'll see why she's needing the set. She's needing the set because she uh, sets fire to Snape's robes. But they didn't, so. Okay, so that's Hermione, Oliver Wood, and Harry. Next is, uh, the, crap, I forgot his name. I don't know his name. I'm sorry, I don't know all the names, okay? This is the guy who also, this is another seeker, actually, I know that. This guy is a seeker in the Sorcerer's Stone before. Draco over here becomes the next seeker. I think it's a secret. Now anyway, Oliver Wood has two faces actually. He's one of the few that actually do. It's you know, scared face and uh smiling face. The scared face I'm guessing is when Harry and him are trying to get the snitch and they're flying towards the floor. I'm guessing it's that. Another Slytherin who looks evil is Flint Wood. And look at his face. This hair piece is the same they use for uh, Credence and uh, Ron in the early Lego days of Harry Potter. Also, all their, their brooms are different. These are black brooms and those are uh, brown brooms. Next we have is Professor Snape. So this is the same thing. Uh, same Snape from the Wampic Willow. Well, they need some uh, audiences, Eric. So? Now, this is that Snape's included because of the scene where Hermione burns his clothes because they think he's trying to kill Harry. But yeah, so that's all the figures. Now let's move on to the stand. Well, huh? Oh, sorry. Wait, let me pause. Oh, you were barking at someone? That's why I paused it. So anyway, let's start with the uh, stuff. The quaffles. And this is the best symbol. Now, one of the quaffles is actually, like there's actually a feature where there's like a thing connected to this broom and you shoot it out, but yeah. I'm missing that piece. I'm also missing two like things you use for beaters. Yeah, I'm missing that. I'm gonna have to try to find those pieces in like somewhere, but yeah, so. That's, that's disappointing that I didn't get all the stuff, but that's okay. This is the Quidditch World Cup, which Harry was able to help win in the Prisoner of Azkaban. And that's it, that's what I'm talking about. And his team, I don't know, uh, wait, no. And his team was also able to win it in the, like twice without Harry in the Order of the Phoenix and the, uh, what else? Half-Blood Prince, yeah. The Half-Blood Prince. <laughs> now, anyway, yeah, so this is the set. Now, there's this feature back here where you can move this. So, let's say you get Oliver Wood as Keeper. You move him. He can fly. So, yeah, there's this grass and sand area, which I really like. These are for connecting the stands. And this is really cool. I really like this actually, a little bit. Now this set is actually one, like the second least wanted set that I wanted, but I wanted to complete my collection, so. Molly, stop barking and get Molly for a second. Everyone, look at my dog. Yeah, my dog's the best. Does she look cute? Okay, there you go. All right, so uh, Oliver Wood could go here and, you know. So now let's start with Hufflepuff. I really like the stickers and such. And also, there's also Gryffindor and Slytherin tiles. But if you are Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw, then you can then you're in luck because you have Hufflepuff and Ravenclaws for this is this set is better than the remake in the uh, I mean this this is a remake of a set in uh, 
2011 in Quidditch, but they only had like, I'm pretty sure, I don't know what stuff they had, but there were only like two stands. Here you get four, which is great for all the Harry Potter fans. This is also for points and such. Can you deal with her? She's like pretty angry. But yeah. So, uh, yeah. Also, you could put the points things in here, but I didn't get any more pieces. Probably because of the set, but yeah. So that's Hufflepuff. Next is Ravenclaw. And this is Ravenclaw, so I really like these towers. These towers are all the same, but I like how they have different colors. This is the microphone here. Like right there's the points, but this is for the microphone. Kind of wish we got Lee Jordan in this set, but that's okay. Like we get Madam Hooch in a uh, Bricktober, the Bricktober pack, which I do have actually. I would get her out, but I'm lazy, so. I can get it. No, I'm good. Yeah, like the interiors are very, like nothing. And another problem I have is like, you can only fit like probably one figure like in each stand, which is a little lame actually. Kind of, I want to put like three or something, like five. Like sure, five does seem, I guess, a bit of a stretch, but like at least more than one, like maybe two or three. So it is a little disappointing. And that's why this is like my second least favorite Harry Potter set, but that's okay. You do get also Slytherin, those slimy, dirty cheaters. <laughs> Uh, sorry if I offended any Slytherin fans, it's okay. Slytherin was redeemed with Snape in Deathly Hallows Part 2. So, yeah, and Slughorn as well, not to mention, who I, who's also in the Bricktober. So anyway, this is Slytherin, and I like the colors, like, I like all the stickers and such. Although, yeah, that's it, there's like nothing to complain, but... Like I said, this is based on the set in the Sorcerer's Stone, so, or Philosopher's Stone if you live in the UK. But this is, like I said, based on the part where Hermione burns the thing, burns his robe, and there's a feature where you turn, fire appears. It's right here. So yeah. Oh no! So yeah, let's see. Oh crap, Snape! Oh shoot! Sorry about that, that was my fault. <laughs> Shoot, I feel very bad actually. This is like not the second figure. This is the only Snape figure I have. And finally, the house that is seen in all of the movies, Gryffindor. Well, all these houses are seen in all the movies actually, but Ravenclaw isn't given that much attention actually, if I'm perfectly honest. Like. Like, Hufflepuffs were giving some attention, and then they were lost, and then we just saw Ravenclaws more often than that. And I don't know. Like, also in the books as well, like, the only Hufflepuff, like, we really knew that much in the books was Ernie. But that was it, and we never really saw Ernie that much in the movies. In fact, they deleted his scene, actually, I'm pretty sure, in the, uh... Chamber of Secrets, and he was only seen, you only seen, you could see him in his, pretty sure when he was clapping near the end, but that's it. I kind of do feel bad for the Hufflepuffs and Ravenclaws who didn't that get much, much slot, spotlight. The only ones that get spotlight is these two people. That's why these two are here. So anyway, this is Gryffindor, and this is by far better than the others. Like, yeah, I do like these tile things, but here's the thing. Like, you could put figures here, but you can also get, let's say, Harry riding his broom. Let's say he's riding his broom. You know, saying hi because he won the Quidditch Cup. This is what you... Quidditch Cup and caught the snitch. This is what you can do. You can, like, fly through there. Now, I probably won't play with that, but, you know, it's pretty cool. Oops, sorry, Harry. Jeez, this broom's like super tall. But anyway, yeah, we did the Quidditch World, not the Quidditch World Cup. I meant the Quidditch match. Harry's, one, one of Harry's favorite things in 
magic in the wizarding world, Quidditch, if you read the books. You know, I read the, all the books, thankfully. I finished The Deathly Hallows, and uh, yeah. So yeah, here are my final thoughts. Now, like I said, like three times already, um, this is not really a set I would have wanted to get. Well, like, this is one set I would have, like, gotten one of the few sets, like, I would have probably gotten last or something. Like, this is not bad or anything. I really like this set. I really like the towers, but, like, one issue is you don't really get that much space. You only get, like, one or... You can only fit one figure. Like, if you tried super hard, maybe two, but that's as high as you can get. Unless you have this, like... Unless you have, like, more tiles to put there, but besides that... Mm, tough luck for LEGO fans. But you do get cool figures. Like, you do get the two figures here. You know, two Gryffindor, two Slytherins. You know, nice. And you also get these two figures, which is also pretty nice. But I kind of wish we got Lee Jordan, you know, the, the announcer. And maybe... You mean, you mean the commentator. Yeah. Well, yeah, the commentator. Yeah, I kind of wish we did get Lee Jordan here. And maybe, uh... A Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw, like, Remember you know, get more, uh... Remember the time when he asked if a girl would go out with him? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. But, yeah, so, this side isn't bad. Like, I do like that this set actually has all four houses here, tiles and stands. And I, like, I don't see how else, like, I can crew besides more space here and such. So yeah, I really like this set. Like this feature does seem a little cool, but I think maybe another, uh, I, I'd be fine buying another of this. That way we can have like a full Quidditch stadium. You know, like that'd be pretty cool actually. Now, I do think, like I made a Lego set, like I made a video saying uh, what Lego should do, like what Lego sets, like the Lego Sorcerer's Stone set ideas. And I did say I wanted, like, Quidditch stands. Like, the platforms are, like, you know, in between the stands. Like that. I think LEGO could do that. Like, they could perfectly put it in the middle, and they can have, like, stands in between and put, like, your favorite characters there. Like, check that video out. I'm gonna make a, another one, but... Yeah, so... Overall, not bad. A pretty good set. Um... If you really want this set, go get it. But if you are a Harry Potter fan and you're on a budget, then probably, then you can skip this if you want to. But if you're a really big Harry Potter fan and you want to complete your collection, then go for this. But if you want to get something else, like a, I don't know, like a new, like the Hogwarts, UCS Hogwarts Castle, the Great Hall, the Whomping Willow, the Hogwarts Express, then... Probably wait for this another time or not buy it at all. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, next is Newt's suitcase. So anyway, I hope you have a, a good day. So bye.